Good afternoon, students. How are you all? I hope you all are safe and fine, and you are taking proper precautions in this pandemic COVID-19 situation. Take care of yourself. Listen to your parents. Avoid to go outside. Drink hot water twice or thrice in a day. Welcome back to subject uh, standard nine, subject history, lesson number three. India's internal challenges. Now, today we are going to do revision of question answers of history lesson number three. That lesson is India's internal challenges. Now, today we have learned in this lesson that which which internal challenges. Internal challenges. Internal means what inside. Inside which challenges we are facing. Uh, inside the India, inside our India, that we have seen in the in this lesson. So today we are going to explain this lesson with question answers. So uh, we will see the question answers of this lesson. That first we will go towards question number one. Second, in your book it is second. Explain the following concept. We are going to see about communalism and regionalism. So, uh, let's see what is the communalism and what is the regionalism. Now, communalism. We are going to see this first one that is communalism. What is communalism? Now, see, uh, first I will read answer then I will explain you. First point, communalism is excessive love for one's own region and hated for the other regions and their followers. What is mean by communalism? Communalism means one, any, per, any person who is loving too much about his own, own region and he is hated, he or she is hated for other regions. It is called as a communalism. Means suppose for example I am giving, suppose I am staying here in this region so I will love this region more and I will hate another, another region that is called communalism means if anyone love about any region and hate about others region that is called as a communalism so definition of communalism it should come in your first point second point excessive love for one's own religion assumes the form of fanaticism and fanatics spread the message of hatred and violence. Now see, we are uh, as we seen in first topic or first point the definition of communalism. Second uh, point is related that definition only. What is that? Excessive love for one's own religion. Means we are doing excessive is too much. We are doing too much excessive love for our own regions. Assumes that our own region, it is only a religion, it is only good, and spreading hatred or doing violence for or giving message of hatred and violence about others. Third one, communalism assumes the form of communal tension even on the small issues. Even suppose uh, in communalism, if suppose even though small issues are there, we are making that small issues such a way big, big issues, so that we can see there are some problems created in our communalism. Number four point: communal tension break out in the form of communal rights, which destroy social harmony and mutual trust among the people. Because of this communal tension, what this tension did? This tension break out in the forms of communal right. Whatever the rights or rituals are there, that is breaking that communal rights, we destroy social harmony, which is destroy sociality, or it's destroy, or it is getting giving hurt to the people, or it is giving hurt to normal or common people. So, this point, fourth point I am considering in communalism, 
first one a uh, definition of communalism second we are doing excessive love for our uh, religion third we are from small small issues we are spreading different things for others and fourth point is that that we are it is hating the it is breaking out in breaking out the socialism or it is breaking out the emotions of common peoples so in this way we can see the first point communalism second we are going to see regionalism what is regionalism see regional first point regionalism is excessive pride about one's region its language and culture here also first point should be definition of regionalism regionalism is how we are seeing the excessive love for our religion same here excessive love for our own region and not only for region about our culture about our language excessive love that is called as a regionalism second it means to regard the people of other regions their uh, language and cultures as inferior see whenever we are thinking that our own uh, region is we are giving priority to, uh, to our own region and we are started hating to other region it shows what it shows that it means to regard the people of other re region means we are started hating of other region and we are thinking that our region is greater than other regions so maybe for their language and maybe for their culture we are regretting the peoples of other regions their cultures their language etc third point imbalance in economic development is responsible for widening the gulf between the development and less development states and it is a threat to the unity of the nation now see another third one point is that sometimes whichever the the imbalance imbalance between the economic which way economic those who are developed develop where we can see means mostly in which part of which area development and done and in which area development not done we can see imbalance between these two areas and because of this it's happen in the developed states and because of this we can see it is a big threat to our country or unity of the nation now we have seen what is communalism here also three points and here four points second question is that rightful form of that is the question number 4 in your book write the full form of now first is that m n f that is what meso national front what is mean by m n f meso national front second is n m c n n c what is n n c naga national council what is n n c naga national council and third one is p l g a what is p l g a p l g a means peoples liberation gorilla army what is the full form of p l g a peoples liberation gorilla army now <coughs> question number this first one and second one i uh, explain you now we are going to turn towards our brief questions that is which demands brief for answer briefly first question is that which demands were put forward through the anandpur sahib resolutions by akali dal which demands akali dal kept in front of the in front of the anandpur sahib resolutions first number 1 the akali dal passed the anandpur sahib resolution in 1973 when this uh, anandpur sahib resolution done in 1973 that will be first point second point the following demands they kept which which demands number 1 chandigarh should be made part of punjab chandigarh should be become a part of punjab second the punjab speaking parts in another state should be included in the state of punjab the punjabi 
that language should speak compulsory in that language in that area third one recruitment of people from punjab to the indian army should be increased recruitment from punjab whatever recruitments are there from punjab it should be increased for soldier fourth number was that more autonomy should be given to the state of punjab they should give more autonomy to the state of punjab in this way they kept some demands in front of that in that adampur sahib resolution now second question is that what can we do to end communalism second question is that if we want to end that communalism what what things we can do just uh, answer c we can do the following things to end communalism number 1 we should mix with people of different religions first thing that we should mix with different different religions how at present we are staying in india there is a diversity in india there are many religions people are staying in india so we should mix all different different types of religions people together second we should accept the good ideas and practices of each other not only we should mix with uh, other peoples but we should accept whatever good things are there in other religions we have to accept that things number 3 we should look at and understand our economic and social problems rationally we should not mix these questions with the religion we should not mix the question of religion but instead of that whatever problems are there whatever the social economic problems we have to help each other and last uh, last point fourth one point is that we should search for economic political historical reasons that are responsible for disturbing religious harmony we should search economically socially or political which regions are there which is distributing the peaceful environment of different different religions that we have to, to search out and we have to solve this problems so this way we have seen that second question that is what can we do to end communalism third question is that when does regionalism become strong when does means regionalism means excessive love about their own particular region when it will become strong number 1 regionalism becomes strong due to this following factors number 1 regionalism thrives on regional imbalance in development in the post independent period some states achieve more progress while some states remain backward regionalism why these problems are there you know because when uh, in post independence period uh, due to some uh, <coughs> we can say post independence period some states achieve more progress and because they went for ahead and some some part of the states or some peoples remain backward and because of that we can say rich and poor this backward and forward peoples in our country second the developed states have achieved progress in education and health the developed uh, peoples or developed countries we can see they made development in the peoples health and education and those who were back back side people means the backward people they not got any opportunity or any chance to develop themselves in the health and education and the state which have not developed in this manner remain backward and those peoples or those states which not uh, made a development in education and health they remain backward next the opportunities of development available to the people in developed states are not possible for people in backward classes now they, that people uh, those who are those who got the opportunities of health and education they went ahead and they got different different opportunities about employment and everything and backward people because of lack of education and health they remain as a backward state the people in the backward areas feel that they are cheated and kept away from the benefits of development as the people in the developed regions are unwilling to share the benefits now those who were backward people what they think that they are they are uh, be cheated from other people and because of that they don't get proper opportunities about health and education and a big uh, in this thinking only they were and remain backward the regional identity to arose and the people preparation themselves 
for political actions. The regional identity only it is useful for political purpose. Whenever political or elections are there, the political persons are coming there and they are uh, informing them or they are um, assuring them about their region. And this problem is also facing this. Due to this problem, we can see more problems happen in this situation. Now, question number three that is give reason. It become necessary to carry out the operation blue star. Now, why it was necessary to do that operation blue star? Just see. First point. The movement for independent Khalistan took root in Punjab in 1980. In 1980, we can see that movement independent Khalistan it took root. Second, the armed followers and uh, General Singh Bindrawale, the staunch supporter of Khalistan, gathered outside the Golden Temple and started terrorist activity. That Bindrawale with his armed followers, he collect all the papers and for that Khalistan, he uh, gathered outside of the golden temple and he started terrorist activity. Third point, after the arrest of Brindavale, the loss and other situation worsened. And when they arrest uh, to that Brindavale, the situation become worsened. Fourth point, Brindavale occupied Akali Tak and his followers captured the golden gear. Bindwale occupied that Akali Tak and they, uh, their followers captured this golden temple. This activity disturbed the peace in Punjab and so the major challenges is Indian democracy. And this activity disturbed the peace of Punjab and because of that we can see uh, this it become necessary to carry out Operation Blue Star. Second question is that we should fight communalism all our strength. First point is that communalism emerges out of narrow religious pride and lead to communal rights. Why it is required that we should fight communalism with our own strength? Because see this communalism emerges out of narrow religious pride. It is going through the narrow religious pride. We are giving important to our own religion and we are heading to other religion. Second, <coughs> and red of innocent people are killed or public property worth crores of rupees is damaged. In this situation, hundreds of people are unnecessarily they are killed and public property is getting damaged. Third point, people are entrenched with each other and mutual trust receive a setback due to the bitter memories of rights. And when this type of any incidents happen, people become bitter with one another and it is disturbing the whole face of their country. Fourth point, communalism is a serious threat to the unity of country. This communalism, it is a serious threat for the whole region, whole country. And therefore, it is required that we should fight against that communalism. Now, in this way, the whole lesson question answers we have seen. I hope you understand the lesson. Read the lesson. Uh, all answers are very easy. Try to search out the answers from the test book and write down these question answers in your notebook and read it properly because lesson is very easy. And if you ask you what twice, if you will read, you will understand it properly. What is communalism? What is regionalism? Everything you will understand. So, read once or twice and try to solve your question answers. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Stay at home and take care of yourself. Thank you.